What's up guys, Mr. Senpai here bringing you the anime review of Death Parade. I've been watching it. It took me a little longer than it should have to finish. I literally probably said on the last episode for like a day or two, just like, I don't want, I don't know if I want to finish this because I don't want it to end because by the time you get close to the end, you kind of see what's going to happen and you're like, no, just no. So, I guess let's get into it. Alright, so, I'm trying to adjust the camera. Alright, so, the, the... The overview of the anime, for anyone who hasn't seen it, and, you know, that you kind of like, Ooh, what is this? Let me find out. <laughs> Alright, so, basically, two people come in, and whether... Most of the time, the anime, they know each other. So, but they come in, and they're like, Holy shit! Where are we? They have no memories of... Some have a hard time remembering even who they are. But basically, the bartender, which I can't remember what he's called. Um, uh, you guys know I, I'm not good with names. I will... I keep I, I say this every review, but I'm going to end up writing these names down so that way I can say it character by character. But the bartender, he is like, well, what can I get you to drink? Um, he's He asked them a couple questions. Do you remember anything upon you know arriving here? They say no. He's like, well, we kind of need you to play a game. And this is a life or death situation. And they're like, you know, most of the time they're like, man, fuck you, I ain't playing. And they walk around trying to find an exit. Obviously, they don't find an exit, so they end up wanting to play the game. Well, not wanting to, but they do. Um, and a lot of time he gives them some encouragement because he opens up the back and there are bodies hanging from the ceiling. So they're like, holy shit, you're some murderer. But, in reality, he is actually judging them because they're already dead. So, he, he, and he's judging whether they are going to heaven or hell. And he has to bring out the darkness in them and then judge them based on their darkness. Whether they should go to one place or the other, be reincarnated or go to the void that aspect and the first episode is it's kind of trippy like for if you haven't seen it yet try and at least make it to the fourth episode then that's when you probably will actually get hooked in so but it, it, it's still good it's still good anybody who likes horror this is right up that alley. So, yeah, definitely. It's, uh... I found comedy in it. I'm not gonna say it's a complete... Got the genre in there, but I found comedy in it. Oh, uh, all these people who've seen this anime, they're like, you have a sick sense of humor. Eh. But, so... And, uh... And there's this woman who comes in. He, the bartender, he is a, I can't remember, but he's not human. Uh, he's like immortal or whatever, constantly judging pe uh, dead people who come in to see where they're going. Um, and they bring in this woman to be his assistant. And you really don't know what's up with that. And spoilers, not telling. Uh, but at that point, you know, go watch the anime. It, it was good. I didn't thoroughly enjoy it, but now that I've finished it, I'm like, I really enjoyed that anime. I would like to see another season. Don't know if they have another season. The way they leave it is possible, but at the same time, you, you want another season and then you don't want another season because... Of reasons that you'll find out when you finish it so go watch it if you haven't seen it really good um 
And if you're kind of wondering, like, well, what's the uh, is it really that good? Should I not waste my time with it? Well, based off what I've told you, you should be able to figure out whether you, it's up your alley or not. Uh, I don't normally stretch my viewing area into the horror range uh, all that much. You know, it's not that I dislike horror. I just not my thing entirely. Um, with that being said, I have enjoyed some really good ones, and I actually only hate one anime out of every anime I've seen. I I, I, I hate this one to its core almost, and I'm not gonna tell that yet. I'll save that for another video. But anyhow, so at this point. I'm going into a little more depth about the anime. If you haven't seen it and you plan on watching it, stop here. As much as I like people to finish the entire thing, I'd rather you stop here, go watch the anime, come back in a week or two, and be like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't finish the rest of it. Let me see what he thought about it. So at this point, spoiler alert, anything that's said after this point and that's spoiled is your fault. Let's go. Alright, so like I said earlier, the first couple episodes, it didn't, I, like, I've tried to watch this anime before. Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties. Anyhow, so, by the way, and I'll go back and I'll figure out who you are. And I'll, like, hit you up on Twitter and let you know that. Uh, I'll send you, once I figure out who you are, I'll send you a direct message uh, for the video for this. Because somebody actually wanted me to do a review on this anime. So, here you go. Um, <laughs> uh, so, as I was saying, it is, I tried watching it before. And I couldn't really get into it. The first episode, the first time I watched it, actually had me cringing. But, ooh, no, ouchie. No, 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 no. Because the darts, man. Those darts. Now, I feel like they started the anime on a really, really strong note. I, I feel like kind of the, not really horror side of it, but the, the not knowing of really what's going on and kind of being in that same position as the people and having to actually watch them it, and it really was a strong note and I the first time I done it I can't make it past that episode I really could I, I did not watch the second episode I tried again a couple weeks later I think and I made it to like episode two or three still couldn't do it but because I had a viewer um, suggest that I do a review on it. I was like, well, if somebody's asking me to do a review on it, one, I, I, I want to be nice and, you know, involve myself with the community and try and do things y'all ask. Uh, just like I want to get a hardline game up, uh, Battlefield Hardline, because somebody wants to see gameplay of that. I want to get that up. I'm working on that. But, anyhow, um, it, now that, I, like I said, when you first started, or at least for me, I kind of didn't want to keep watching because, one, I didn't 100% understand it. I was cringing, and I was just like, I don't see the storyline in this. And I didn't actually, until like episode five or six, didn't see any kind of major storyline because it just seemed like, it was like, oh, people come in, we test them, we judge, you go to hell, or reincarnation, and you, or poof, bye. Um, but by the end of the anime, they make you feel uh, love for some of the characters that have stuck around, like... I can't think of her name, but, you know, the chick that is the assistant, finding out she's human, how she died, all the little things he's doing to judge her now, it, it, it made you just break almost inside when you found all of this out, like, as it came through, because you started loving her as a character as well. Now, I do like some of the character development for this anime, um... I like how they were able to almost develop side characters that are only in for an episode, you know, through the whole episode, um, and kind of show you their life and how they died, 
what was their meaning in life because well for me I feel like everybody's meaning in life is a little different there's no one meaning but another day another video it overall I I'd say I enjoyed it I really did I like it and like I was saying earlier it's an anime that you want another season because you want to know kind of what happens next after she's gone and he's there and starting to feel these human emotions. But at the same time, it's like you don't want to because at this point she's not there anymore. And it's almost like you if the, if they had a second season, every time you see her mannequin, her body dressed up, you're like, no, no, that's what it would be like. And I'm just, I don't know if my heart can take that, man. I don't think so, no. So, it, overall, is, it, like I said, it's good. Um, There's some things that I, I want that wild about. I feel like, well, I was going to say I feel like they focused on too much of the darkness, uh, and some of, but at the same time they didn't because there was this episode where the uh, the bowling episode. That was a really sweet episode. I mean, really sweet. I will say one thing that pissed me off um, throughout the entire series, the entire time, was they didn't make it clear at the end of the episode who went where. Um, because there's an episode where, you know, the other bartender tricks the chick, and, uh, the teen chick or whatever in the pop star into going into the thing, thinking they were, you know, being reincarnated, but he threw them into the void. That one, that alone pissed me off, because I'm sitting over here like, are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting me? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Just because they say you can't experience death don't mean you can't die. Like, come on, bro. But <laughs> um, by them doing that, I, it's hard to know wh who was going where. You know, just because of the mass, it doesn't make it 100% clear. So, I now, I kind of I like that they threw the twist in there as a plot twist and everything. I, I hate, I, I, I like it as a writer, I hate it as a viewer, I mean, I'm serious, um, that, and I don't, if I'm correct, uh, it didn't show what he decided, granted, you know, it was kind of like, throughout the whole thing, you're like, well, obviously, she's going to be reincarnated. But at the same time, it doesn't make it clear. And that's one thing I hated. It didn't make it clear enough who went where. And another thing is that it, they don't state that both of them can't be reincarnated or both of them can't be thrown into the void. Obviously, apparently, they two can uh, both of them can be thrown in the void because the other bartender did it, and yet it starts with a D. The first bartender, the main character, um, his name is like on the tip of my tongue, and it pisses me off that I can't think of his name. Urgh. But, um, Diggle Duggle Da. Uh, he acted like he didn't want to throw, uh, have both of them reincarnated or, in some cases, have both of them be in the void. It, it didn't make 100% sense. Now, another thing is that I see, and once again, second season-wise, I see a bigger plot in the making. And I'm sure they've done that on purpose. But at the same time, to have a character like her... Not, it's not really centered around her. It's centered around the bar. And him and her. Without her, it doesn't feel the same. That and another thing. Um, Granted, he got all of her memories. He started feeling emotions. Will he set it up 
where he doesn't forget her. Because, you know, they erase the, uh, the memories of them ever so often. And that's, but that's why he keeps the mannequins around because he may not remember all of them, but they were all once his guests. So, you know, if I was him, I would at least have to keep her memories because something like that, a time spent like that, you may not be able to experience death, but you you can still enjoy what kind of life you have. You live your life in the present moment. You may not have a certain kind of future or past, but you do have something to kind of live for. You know, you are technically alive. Um, so, you see what I'm saying, right? Uh, the opening, I don't, uh, the opening's wishy-washy with me. The opening song I liked, but I didn't quite feel like the the animation of the opening kind of fit it. I feel like at certain points it fit it really well, and then at certain points it was like, what the fuck is this with this song, really? I love the endings. Like, I, uh, th These are the best endings to an anime I have ever seen. The biggest thing that I love about it, when... Uh, most of the time, they actually show like the character's life as the ending, and I like that because that gives you even more background of what maybe you didn't know. And you know, you can take the videos and the photos that are there and kind of put two and two together, saying yes, they had a life other than this, and this was a bit of it. This, you know, and then the song went really well with it to me. I, I know. The last, I know for a fact, the last episode's closing had the same song as the opening, and sadly, I can't remember if it's always been that way. I don't think it has. It's, that threw me off, and I was like, the fuck? But, so, <sighs> taking everything into account, I think I might have to give this anime an 8. I want to give it an eight and a half, but at the same time, I want to give it a seven and a half because of the little things that I'm like, no, fuck you, people. But because I, I guess you, I, I guess you could say appreciate some plot twists as or as because I write as well. Um, I I can appreciate throwing twists in there and killing off a character or something or doing something that people may not always like, but at the same time, for the betterment of the story in the long run, it's got to happen. So I can understand it, but that don't mean I got to be happy about it. As a viewer, I, I I dislike it, I hate it. But so I I'd get I'm gonna do the middleman and give it an eight. Um, it's. If you want a lot of horror, maybe not the anime. If you want some horror, I'd say yes. Confusing at first, stick with it. You'll be happy by the end. So, that's the anime review of Death Parade. Uh, your anime suggestion for this video is Blue Gender. Also, some horror is Mecha really fun if you if you guys have any other anime that you would like me to do a review on tell me in the comments below if you're on my twitter you know retweeted or whatever i don't understand how tweets work i really don't just direct message me and be like hey i'd like to see a review on this anime will you do it and i'd be like yeah ain't got nothing better to do um so yeah uh, eight uh, it's a solid 8 with me. Uh, it'll probably be an anime I'll remember for a long time. It'll be an anime that I will suggest to many people, such as yourself, if you haven't seen it. But at this point in the video, you probably should have seen it. Otherwise, you just got a shit ton of spoilers. Not my fault. So, don't forget to hit like if you like the video, obviously. The subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And comment below things you want to see me do or change uh, anything to better myself as a YouTuber or as somebody to sit here and talk anime with. So thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video which will be
Probably tomorrow or... Wait. The fuck did my watch go? Damn it. Anyhow. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Senpai Punch!